Hello, Brenton with All Octane here, and in this video I'm going to open up some of the Matchbox 70th Anniversary Special Edition Matchbox Collectors that I was able to find on the pegs. This set uh, is a really cool set of cars. I was able to find all seven of them. There are special like gray silverish paint. It's like a matte gray. We've got a Jaguar D-Type. We've got a Porsche 910. We've got a 1971 MGB GT Coupe, a Toyota 4Runner, a Fox Body Ford Mustang, a 93 Ford Mustang. Audi RS6 Avant, and a Mercedes 6x6 G-Wagon. So I am actually going to open these up because that's what you guys come here to see, right? And yep, this one comes with the boxes. Let's go ahead, open this up. Here's the box, and here's the car. Check that out. Rubber tires. Very, this is actually a very heavy casting. I know uh, Hot Wheels did this a long time ago, and I think this might be the same casting, just a little lowered on the Matchbox wheels. Hot Wheels, I think the mainline version was up a little higher, but it could be a different casting. They could be completely doing it all over. It's a 1964 Jaguar D-Type, obviously with the number 70 for the 70th anniversary. And this does feel kind of rough it's interesting it's it's definitely not a uh smooth finish all right let's go ahead and open up the porsche 910 i was really glad to find this because i know some of these cars can be kind of difficult to find at first i thought this was a ford obviously it's not a porsche all metal rubber tires Again, 70 for the 70th anniversary. Again, the paint does feel a little rough, but this is a very heavy casting because of the metal on metal. No moving parts that I'm aware of. And these are somewhere around the $6 US dollars range. And wow, look at all that paint on the side of this car. Ah, it's a little underwhelming. We've got the 71 MGB GT Coupe. I wonder what they, uh, oh, this is plastic. This is one plastic? That's metal. Why is this plastic? Come on. Six dollars a car and you're giving us plastic? You could have at least given us a metal base with the tan interior. I really do like the tan interior. I like the racing stripes as well. There's tampa work in the front, tampa work in the rear. That's kind of nice. Again, nice tan interior, but plastic. That's a little disappointing. <clears throat> All right, we've got the Toyota Fort Runner. Yeah, and I do wonder, I, I think the MG is harkens back to their British heritage, but I wonder what they decided on how they decided to do what casting for what lineup. Because the Moving Parts has some really cool cars. The Main Lines has some cool, really cool cars. Look at that Tampa work. That's, that's a very nicely tampoed 4Runner. The weird part is, is it looks a little Jeep Cherokee-ish from like the 90s with that right there. I know it's not, but I mean, looks a little Jeep-ish, right? No Tampa is in the rear. Plastic base? Well, this is cheap. Man, your money's worth is out of the Porsche and the Jaguar. Metal on metal, rubber. So I think that's metal, yeah. What? What? No rear tampos? They just give you front tampos and a plastic? Six bucks? Ah, that's a little disappointing. Could have been a better 70th anniversary matchbox. I don't know. For some rubber tires on that? I don't know. It looks like it's the same here on the Fox body as well. No rear, just top. They didn't even have top tampos on this. This, this, this one's not worth it. 
I mean, it's part of the set, sure, but goodness gracious, that's disappointing. Fox body, no tampos up front or rear, plastic, just top and side. Although I do like that, that's cool. And the orange zigzag, also cool. But uh, these are these are really expensive to not be full out. The RS6 Avant wagon. Three for three now. Okay, at least this has front and rear tampos. There we go. I'll take it. What do you guys think? You gonna take that too? Ugh. Matchbox. You hit home runs sometimes, and then other times. I'm just very, very baffled. Alright, last up is the G Wagon. Mercedes G63 AMG 6x6 seen this a bunch it's I can guarantee you that there's no metal on metal on this for sure it's all plastic two layers of plastic front sort of rear it's cool though I mean it's a six by six is it worth six dollars though hmm I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Which one is your favorite out of this bunch? Are you into these? Have you been able to find these? Are they worth it? Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. And until the next one, have a good one.